you we got it. what do you know we have an aerospace company in malaysia really where here let us show you hey oh i think we're here at turkish aerospace when I think of the word aerospace, I think of jets and rockets, but to be honest, I don't know much about it. So, what will I learn at this aerospace company here? Will I see jets and rockets being built? I think we have someone here who's ready to talk to us. Hi, my Hi. name is Anusham. I'm from Turkish Aerospace Malaysia. So, welcome to Tusas Malaysia Sramahat. Turkish Aerospace Industry in headquarters, we produce fighter jet, helicopters, uh, UAV, and also satellites. But here in Malaysia, we are considered a design hub for the company. We registered in SSM in 2019. During that time, we have only one country rep. By early 2022, we have 15 staff and we grow. By end of 2022, we have around 80 people in Malaysia. So, can you tell me the relationship between Turkish Aerospace Malaysia and Turkish Aerospace Industries? Turkish Aerospace Malaysia is wholly owned by the Turkish Aerospace Industry. They are based in Ankara, Turkey. They have been serviced since 1974, but now they target to become the top largest aerospace company in the world. In order to become the biggest aerospace company, we need to sell more. To sell more, we need to build more. So to build more, we need to grow. So that's why they expand their business in Malaysia to, to support the industry in Ankara. Okay, when you say build more, you mean like more fighter jets? Yep, fighter jets, helicopter, UAV, satellites. Mm -hmm. What about rockets? Uh, I think satellite part of a rocket. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me a bit more about why it's important to keep developing this kind of stuff when you know you've already built all of them here? Okay, I take this fighter jet as an example. This is a Hercus. In general, one fighter jet, they have a three segment, the engine, structure and electronic part. So in Malaysia, we design and build the electronic part inside the what, helicopter. The whole helicopter pula. <laughs> Pegang! <laughs> What we design and build here is the electric part. I can say this is the heart of the aircraft. Mm -hmm. That heart will control, we monitor the movement of the aircraft. So do you actually have the big version of this one here somewhere? I know. Oh. So other than this circus, the KFSP also produce a UAV. This is an anchor. So no one has to be flying it? There's uh, some pilot, but outside. outside. <laughs> yeah. This is a fighter jet. This is Hercus, and this is helicopters, and also produce the satellite. This is a communication uh, satellite. The helicopter, so we have a few versions. This is a combat version, and this is a, a civilian version. Can I twist it? Can. Oh. <laughs> so, out of all of these models, which one is your favorite? My favorite? Mm. Of course, this one. Ooh, how come? Uh, sorry, this one. This one? <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about this one? Sorry, yeah. This <laughs> This is MMU uh, because this is the uh, high ranks of the all the fighter. Ooh. While showing me the models, Nurisham also mentioned that Turkish Aerospace Malaysia, aka TUSAS, is in collaboration with government agencies like MIDA, MDEC, and more, and that TUSAS wants to design and produce its own equipment instead of buying ready to use products from the market. One of the channels to grow Malaysia's aviation industry is Talent. We have collaboration with all the universities, but we need to do some alignment with the university mm -hmm. in order to get the perfect graduate to fit in this area. Mm -hmm. What do you mean alignment? We don't want to, to change the syllabus, but we do have meeting with the universities, a little bit adjustment with their current syllabus. Uh, we do have training for our staff uh, locally and also in, in our HQ in Ankara. So we have a few staff have been sent to Ankara for the training. In terms of their qualification, do you have any requirements? Just a degree, not specific to aerospace. We have here all the electronics degree, hardware degree. Okay, so maybe I can join. Welcome. No, I can't. Speaking of talent, Tusas was very secretive of their people, so we had to censor them. I asked them, what's their favorite aircraft? This is the Herjet. Herjet. I like Herjet. My favorite will be TFX, uh, because it's a fifth generation. It seems like a lot of people in the company love the Herjet, or Hurjet. But I personally like the Turkish fighter, because it uses the fifth generation of stealth technology. So, can you tell me a little bit more about, you know, what kind of milestones Turkish aerospace has achieved in Malaysia? Our engineer actually get involved in uh, design and develop uh, Hercus and a jet. Okay. So meaning in future, when you, if you see a jet flying, I'll know it's from yeah, here. <laughs> not from here, but uh, our engineer here is mm -hmm. a part of the team who yeah. built and uh, make sure that the, the flag can fly. Mm -hmm. Are there any aerospace products that you're planning to bring in here to Malaysia? This UAV has been in the middle of contract within Qatar to Malaysia. So later, if the agreement seal, this will be co-assembled in Malaysia. Uh, it's not only for the military use. Mm -hmm. But also for the civilian, meaning for the local authority, let's say for the, the BKL. We left the room to let the engineers work. We were supposed to visit their 3D printing room, but we weren't able to film what's inside of it. Because we are still in a design stage, mm. so design we cannot show to others. Yeah, a lot of secretive things happening here. 
Okay, so as we know, Malaysia is quite big, right? So why did you choose Cyberjaya in specific? Cyberjaya probably is a peaceful area mm. so compared to Kuala Lumpur or other major city. So in order for our engineer to be mm. a good designer here, so they need a good peaceful environment. Apart from that, Cyberview also can offer us an incentive. So a few incentives that we receive from Cyberview, uh, new staff, and also chance for us to expand because they still have a lot of space. So if you want to expand, we can choose. Uh, oh, sorry. Allahu Akbar <laughs> So in 5 years, we targeted to become the biggest uh, design uh, aerospace industry in Malaysia So no worries about the 3D printer room Thank you so much for the rest of the tour and for telling me all about what Turkish Aerospace does So I give you this subject Ooh. to be back But you cannot fly with it Nice so I think I learned a lot today at Turkish Aerospace. Um, you know, usually when you think about fighter jets and helicopters, you think about the pilots who are manning it, but actually there's a lot of work that goes behind creating all the tech that needs to happen before you start flying it. So this is what Turkish Aerospace showed me today and I have so much appreciation for them now and also it really shows that it takes like countries to come together to build this kind of stuff and I'm so glad that organizations like Cyberview for supporting this. Speaking of which, if you are interested in helping grow this ecosystem and helping grow Cyberjaya and Malaysia at large, Cyberview is a great partner so do check them out.